ago the clock washed midnight away, bringing the dawn, bringing the dawn, bringing the dawn. Oh God, I must be dreaming. Time to get up again and time to start up again. Pulling on my socks now. Where did the night go? It is a great pleasure. I'm really looking forward to our conference that deals with the night. And as we know, today in many cities, many major cities, they now have a whole separate sector, say, of police forces, of nurses that work the night. Because the night in our era, in our current situation, the night is almost a permanent condition. Uh, there is night. Sometimes the night crawls into the morning. But the night is alive and well in a way that in the past was more unusual. There always were night persons, night efforts, night problems, and all of that. But today it's different because today we really are connecting globally. So there is a kind of reality transformation, a reality that cuts across fields, waters, cities, mountains, you name it. And that reality, and we're all in it a bit, not all of us, but you know, many of us, more and more of us. And so that always then brings me to the question, what about the really poor people? People who do not have the instruments that we tend to have, we who are more or less doing fine. Uh, how do they experience the night? Are they the last few people on our planet who actually consider the night as a time for sleeping? They just sleep. And do they assume that the rest of the world is sleeping also? You know, there are those possibilities in indigenous uh, situations you don't necessarily have a very wide spectrum of understandings and knowledges about what happens outside our domains. So these are some of the issues that I want to talk with you about uh, when we do the event. Thank you. Long ago the clock washed midnight away, bringing the dawn, bringing the dawn. Oh God, I must be dreaming. 